tucked away in the cornfields of central Iowa, in the outskirts of the capital Des Moines, sits one of the most unusual labs on Earth. This is the most unique facility in the whole world. You won't find microscopes or centrifuges here. Instead, screens, symbols, and bonobos, our closest living relatives. Bonobo is part of the great ape um, umbrella, so great apes include orangutans, gorillas, bonobos, chimpanzees, and also humans. So they share about 98% of our DNA. Um, they're actually more closely related to us than they are to gorillas. Think of them as peaceful, smart, sociable cousins to chimpanzees. They create art with local artists. Um, there's a little bit of a Kanzi finger and footprint on there. Eat Iowa corn. The bonobos do love corn, actually, very much. Do they like Iowa corn specifically? They like Iowa corn specifically. And even play video games. They have played Minecraft. Kanzi and Tico both played Minecraft. It was actually Tico who had the kill shot on the Ender Dragon. Here in Iowa, some genius members of this species use hundreds of visual symbols called lexigrams to tap out their thoughts and communicate with their human caregivers. And Yoda's asking you to chase. <laughs> you want to chase with them? Can we wait a few minutes? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Initially, the lexigrams were basically made up of component shapes. So individually, each one of those visual components doesn't mean anything. But when you put them together, they mean something. So is he touching? He's, yeah, so he said tickle, which in Yoda, the tickle and chase lexigram are almost identical. And so he uses it interchangeably, and then he'll point to who he wants to chase. So it's probably him asking you to come chase with him. <laughs> but among these genius apes, one stood out. Kanzi astonished the researchers when he started showing everyone that not only could he use the lexigram symbols, but that he actually understood some aspects of spoken English. Kanzi had picked it up observationally much more the way a typically developing human child might pick it up and not through this sort of rigorous training. Kanzi didn't just use language, he created it. He coined phrases like cheese toothpaste for cream cheese and water gorilla for beavers. He was extremely intelligent. He was the, the smartest non-human animal um, in the world and probably that we will ever know about. Sadly, Kanzi passed away this February. Kanzi wasn't a domestic animal and again, wasn't a person, but he sort of sat in this space that kind of was between. It wasn't just like losing a pet. Or, um, or something you were responsible for, and it wasn't just losing a family member. It was really almost like losing both. Kanzi and the center's research here in Iowa have redefined our understanding of our closest relatives. We have had thousands of people reach out to us um, expressing how Kanzi's the reason they went to graduate school, or Kanzi's the reason why they care for primates, or Kanzi's the reason they became a linguist. I mean, he inspired so many people. However, with federal funding cuts, the APE initiative is facing an uncertain future. The reality of that situation is, depending on how long that storm goes for, we could be in a big financial crisis. And a state political climate that puts their global collaborations at risk. One thing that can be damaging to us is if people don't feel like Iowa is a safe place for them. But despite mounting pressures, the mission remains. If you care about something and you understand something, um, then you're way more likely to want to save it. And even with the hard loss of Kanzi, his legacy continues to inspire discovery right here in Iowa. We're continuing to discover so much about the species most closely related to humans that I think that's really not only going to reshape our understanding of their species, but our own as well. In Des Moines, Nicole Hodge, Iowa's News Now.